Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an updated beauty favorites that I've been loving for the past month since I have been back on YouTube. And yeah, I've got quite a lot here, so we're gonna get right into it, but if you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I upload videos about four times a week right now, and we're talking about all things beauty. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't even know where to start. I think we're just gonna go in no particular order here. Let's start off with what I reviewed in the Winnie the Pooh ColourPop collaboration. Um, I reviewed that a couple weeks back. I'm going to link that in the description box for your viewing pleasure. But I wanted to just shout out two products that I've been really enjoying. I like all of them. I really do, but these two I've been using the most, I think. First off is the Sweet As Can Be eyeshadow palette. This is so beautiful. Look at that. That is gorgeous, right? Like, this is so beautiful. Um, it's perfect for summer and fall. I didn't want to think about fall. I just love summer so much. So, yeah, this is so, so nice. I will have the video linked down below where I talk all about it. I also wanted to shout out the Super Shock Highlighter. I have the shade Silly Old Bear, and I have been using this so much recently. It's unreal. This is a beautiful, like, light, golden-y highlighter. It is so beautiful. Oh my, it is just beautiful. It's like one of those cream to powder formulas. I love the way my cheeks look when I wear it, and I highly recommend this entire collection. It's so good. Um, I think this is actually sold out, but I got the Lip Mask and Lip Scrub Duo, and oh my gosh, this is so good. Like, I have been in the market for a lip scrub for quite some time, and this one just does it. The smell isn't necessarily, like, my favorite, but this is so grainy that I, I really like a more grainy lip scrub. I've tried other lip scrubs where they're more hydrating and they don't really always exfoliate the way I want to. Like I want like a hardcore exfoliator and this does it. The lip mask reminds me a lot of Laneige because I like, I think for about three years now, I have used Laneige religiously every single night. Like I have gotten into bed where I, <laughs> I have gotten into bed where I have not used or put on my Laneige for the night and I get up out of bed no matter how comfortable I am and I put it on because it reduces my chapped lips. This is so good. Oh my god, it smells really nice. Um, and it's so cute. Like you can't tell me that's not cute. So I really liked that. From what I reviewed from the color, from what I reviewed with the Wet n Wild and Care Bears collection, which I will link that review down below. I've been really getting into cheek products lately. Bronzers, blushes, highlighters, you name it. I've been getting really into it. I wanted to really shout out these three products here because I remember when I first started looking into the collection and I was like, oh, do I wanna buy the whole PR box? Which I ended up doing. That review is linked down below. I thought I was gonna buy some pieces individually. So I thought I was gonna buy these three especially. So we have the Live Laugh Hug Highlighter. We have the Live Laugh Hug Bronzer. This has been one of my go-to bronzers recently. I really like it. I like how you can really build it up and it doesn't look, you know, weird. It's not too warm for me. It's just so pretty, right? And honestly, I was a little nervous testing it out, like, because I feel like Wet n Wild can be very hit or miss with their collaborations especially. And I really enjoyed this collaboration. Seriously, I did. This blush has been one of my new obsessions when it comes to powder blushes. Like, if I just need something to throw on quick for a video, it's literally this blush right here. It is the Do What You Love blush. And it has like little hearts and green on it. It's so cute. It is such a nice light pink. It's so pretty. I've worn it in quite a few videos since I've been back and I really just love it. I also wanted to shout out the Let Your Light Shine highlighter. Now, this highlighter is not like a potent highlighter, but what I like to do is I like to go, like to pair it with my Winnie the Pooh highlighter. So this highlighter, let me actually show you. It's more of a thinner consistency um, when you put it on your hand or like you kind of blend it out. The pigment almost disperses and you're kind of left with this like glittery sheen. So what I've been doing 
whenever I wear this. I first put on my Silly Old Bear highlighter from ColourPop, and then I just kind of put a little bit of this over the top, and it kind of creates this like golden -y sparkle. And I love this look for summer. It is so pretty, and I highly recommend it. So if you guys don't know, I bought a bunch of butter bronzers from Physicians Formula, and I have been really enjoying the Butter Cookie Highlighter. Now, I still have not tried all of them yet, but the Butter Cookie is really nice. Um, this pink middle part is not overspray. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be, but this smells so good. All of these like butter dessert <laughs> bronzers, they smell really, really nice. And I really like, I think this one best suits my skin tone, but I'm, I, yeah, I've used almost all of them. I think the only one I have not used is this bread and butter one. Yeah, I, I just wanted to shout these out. These are quite nice. Now while we're on the Physicians Formula train here, I wanted to mention this blush. This is the Matte Minoy Butter Blush in the shade Mauvy Mattes. It has a bunch of like cute little flowers on it. I really have been enjoying this. If I want something a little more subtle, like mauve toned, this is what I've been going for. Um, if I want something a little more like, mm, she's wearing blush today, I usually go for the Care Bears one. But if, the, if I want something a little more like really toned down, this is it. This is so pretty. Um, I don't really like go in and swirl because I don't want to mix up the really pretty pattern. <laughs> I'm weird like that, but what I do is I just, I'm not gonna put any on because I actually have this really beautiful cream cream blush on, I almost said cream bronzer, but this is from Merit Beauty. They actually, I don't know what order this is going up in, but they sponsored a portion of my weekend in my life vlog. This is so pretty. They also um, sent me their highlighter. They came out with a new color of their highlighter and this is so pretty. I love the, like, the subtleness on my cheeks. I just feel so cute and like effortless. These I've really been enjoying as well, side note. Now we're gonna get into some more high-end beauty when it comes to cheeks and this is from Tarte. I bought the Tarte Bloom Amazonian Clay Blush. This is what I go for if I want pink, but I want subtle as well because this is not this is a little not as subtle as this so yeah i really enjoy this blush this is so pretty oh my gosh it is gorgeous it gives me just a perfect little blush without being too much it's buildable and it lasts all day and it's just beautiful you need to talk about their amazonian clay highlighters if you have not tried these you need them in your life. Like, I'm serious. I have both shades. They have champagne glow and then they have rose gold glow. Mm, I don't really know which one I like better because they're both just, I don't know. They both are pretty in their own special way. So champagne glow is obviously a little more goldeny tone. I gotta swatch these. And then rose gold glow is obviously a little more pinky tone. So rose gold glow champagne glow they're so pretty they're a more potent highlighter they're something that you put on if you want some shine these are it and also i love the packaging so pretty but i highly recommend those all right let's talk about some face products so i am on a kick with this powder and i cannot get enough of it so this is the elf camel powder foundation i'm in the shade fair 120 n this is amazing it literally gives me like an actual like nice coverage. When I usually see powder foundations, there's really not a whole lot to them. And that's often disappointing. So with this, I actually get some coverage. So what I've been doing, I talked about it in my vlog, but I've been starting to wear makeup to work more. Um, so I'll do like maybe a little spot concealing if I need to. And then I wear my two Merit Beauty products. And then I put on some powder and I feel like good to go like I feel put together and yeah I'm more oily so I can't just like not set my makeup or else it'll just melt off my face but this powder for $11 you cannot go wrong it's so good um my favorite foundation of the moment has been the shape tape cloud coverage which I'm wearing right now it's a little lighter which I have been appreciating I never thought I'd be someone who likes light coverage because I've always been the kind of person who's like, oh my gosh, I have these acne scars or whatever, I need to cover them up. And I like this. I actually did a, t a wear test a couple months ago using this foundation and I really enjoy it. 
you want to see like my full thoughts, um, go check out that video. But it's not a tinted moisturizer. It's just like a light coverage foundation and it's really pretty. I just wanted to give a shout out to the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. I have the shade Light 2 Cool. And this covers. It's a thinner consistency, but it really does give me some coverage, especially in the areas where I need it. You know, if I have a breakout, I know I can really count on this. If I have darker under eye circles and I gotta film a video, I know I can really count on this. This is only 12 bucks at Ulta. And yeah, I'm kind of hit and miss with Morphe products. I don't buy every launch, but there are some products from Morphe that I really do enjoy. Um, their foundation, their soft focus foundation. This is pretty nice. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've tried. I can't even think of any right now, but I really like this concealer. It is so good. Um, it really just gives me coverage without looking like, like cakey, you know? It doesn't make me look like I have like a ton of makeup on, but I feel confident when I go out in public with this on. I have a ton of lip products to talk about here. First one I've talked about before, but I wanted to talk about it again because if you like, I'm all about this like lip oil, like sheer lip glossy, kind of glossy lips trend right now. And that's what a lot of these lip products are. Um, but first we have, we have to talk about these. The This Is Juice Gloss, this is such a weird name for a lip gloss. I have like four of the eight shades. The other shades are just not my speed. Um, but I have Guava Snap. This is so pretty and they smell good too. I also have Strawberry Flex, Watermelon Sugar, which I just want to sing the song, but I can't <laughs> for copyright reasons. And then I think this might be my favorite, Pomegranate Clout. Mm. I think it's a tie between Watermelon and Sugar and Pomegranate Clout are my favorites, but these are so nice. They feel so just like almost like a lip oil gloss combo and they're so nice i highly 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 recommend these i think they're like eight dollars at ulta like come on that is such a steal we're gonna divert here and we're gonna talk about some lipstick alani color fetish lipsticks these are so slept on i don't hear people talking about these these are the best lipsticks i think i've ever tried besides ColourPop. i really like ColourPop. um buxom makes good lipsticks of course i can't think of any when i'm on the spot here but um I have the shade, I'm wearing the shade Peony today, but I also have the shades Petal, and then I have the shade Secret. These are perfect. They are creamy matte lipsticks, and oh my gosh, they glide on your lips. They feel so nice, so smooth, so comfortable, and literally you can put any gloss on the top and you're good to go, and I can't get enough of it, so... Oh my gosh, you need to check these out. I think they retail for about $10 at Ulta. That's because that's where I literally buy everything. Um, yeah, everything that I mentioned here you can get at Ulta. Well, maybe not the Care Bears makeup anymore. I don't think Winnie the Pooh ColourPop is sold there. Almost everything else you can get at Ulta. <laughs> All right, Dunkin' Donuts lip gloss. These are really great for just that perfect, like, tint. Okay, I've got both of these. I think these are still available on the Ulta website. If not, I bet they would be on the e.l.f. website. I, I've been liking the pink one more, but I can just put on a little bit of this. And this is so smooth. It smells really, really good. And I did a full review on the e.l.f. and Duncan collection, which I will have linked down below. But these are so nice. A really nice they're not too thick but they're not cheap and thin you know so I highly highly recommend these and yeah they almost have that feeling of like a they almost have a similar feeling to the um, NYX this is juice gloss all right we're getting more into lip balms and oils here let's talk about the Milani fruit fetish lip balm I have the shade dragon fruit peach now I just bought watermelon kiwi today but i have to talk about dragon fruit peach because this is so good this retails for i think 8.99 or 9.99 this smells amazing it's delectable and it says that it's like it has a, like a slight tint to it but it's mainly clear this is so nice it literally feels like a lip oil and 
I don't really, I don't really know what else to say about it. Like it just feels so nice on the lips. It smells so good. So sidetracking here. My favorite drink from Starbucks, which I'm actually drinking right now is a mango dragon fruit refresher. And it smells very similar to how this tastes. That's part of the reason why I love it so much. My holy grail. Like, I cannot live without this. Then I bought another one today. Clarins Lip Comfort Oil is something that everybody needs. So this shade looks scary. It's clear. This is in the shade Honey. And I went about a month ago to Ulta. Oh my gosh. This smells so good. Yeah, first off, it smells really good. The applicator is really big and just like, you can just slather it right on. And... This is so nice. It keeps my lips so hydrated. When I was at Ulta, they were doing like a clearance event and I got a sample of this lip oil, which I actually went today and they were out of every one but honey. And this one is in the shade four. Oh shoot, it doesn't have the name, but it's like this. But you guys, this is so hydrating. They are a little bit more pricey. They're $27 for a full size, but these are really, really nice and I've talked about them a lot in videos recently and I love this. If you need a really good just light lip oil, I never thought I'd be someone that like loves lip oils and that kind of stuff, but I have like turned a corner and this is now my new favorite lip product in the world. I love it. Speaking of Clarence, I have gotten on one of their moisturizers and it is so good. Oh god, this is all in French, I just realized. I took Spanish in high school. I don't know any of this. Ah. But this is the Hydra Essential Moisturizer. And it says it moisturizes and quenches. Um, it's a silky cream. It's so nice. I use the, the just a little bit amount. I put, pat it into my skin. And it just it feels so nice. It, it's so great. I was using it. I really just needed a new moisturizer. And I was so excited. This is a little more expensive. But this is really, really nice. And I really want to try some other products in their line but they are expensive and yeah I recommend this they have different moisturizers too so depending on your skin on your skin type I have normal to dry but I would like to try the normal to oily one too which is more of a gel but I really like this like silky one it's so nice I also have been on this perfume for a couple months now I really rotate through my perfumes a lot if you like floral, I'm not very good at describing this, but if you like kind of fresh floral scents, I think you're really going to like this. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Lily Perfume. Now, this, I, I usually only buy the travel sizes of perfumes because I like to rotate and I cannot afford like $100 a bottle for fragrances. This, oh, this has nice, light, florally fresh, feminine scent it is so beautiful i think this was about 25 to 30 dollars and you get 0.33 ounces so you get a third of an ounce with things like with eau de toilettes like these you know you're not using like a cheap body spray so really all i do is do like one spray on my throat on my neck or whatever and then i do one spray on my wrists and i rub and i just kind of like you know get it everywhere and i can still smell it at the end of the day that's how good it is. So you really do not need to use a lot when you, when it comes to these more high-end fragrances. And I think that, I know that's why I can keep these lasting for literally ever. I got a new scent at Bath & Body Works. I don't use a lot of their stuff for my body anymore. Um, I've strayed away from using their lotions and their shower gels. I will sometimes use a body spray, but I've been really getting into their home stuff. And I went to buy some candles for Mother's Day and I found this new scent called Butterfly. This is actually an antibacterial hand spray, but this is so nice. I also have their can the candle in Butterfly and I also got a hand soap in the scent butterfly and this is so nice it's more it's like a it's another like fresh floral scent i don't know how else to describe it it's really really nice it's fresh it's light it's perfect for spring and summer and yeah i really normally go for fresh and floral sometimes a little bit sweet as you can tell i'm not the best with describing fragrances at all so i'm sorry about that but this is definitely worth going into Bath and Body Works and just 
smelling it. Um, I, oh, I've also been really liking the Fresh Cut Lilac candle from Bath & Body Works. I don't buy a lot of Bath & Body Works candles because they are so expensive. I bought one when they were on sale for $12.95 and oh my gosh, every spring. I love it. I have Fresh Cut Lilac soaps in my bathroom. I have Fresh Cut Lilac candles. Like It's just so good. I love anything lilac scented. It's one of my favorite scents. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. I talked about so much stuff. I will link um, corresponding videos down below, but let me know what your current favorites are. I'm definitely in the mood to test and try and play with new makeup. So yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.